that thing that ended the camera right then. Take care, mate. Four years ago, I reviewed the MDT, a double sideband transceiver from OzQRP, based here in Australia. It's 40 metres, about a watt or two of double sideband, and has been quite a successful kit. However, it did have limitations. For instance, its output power was a bit low, its tuning range was limited, and it didn't do CW. OzQRP have not been idle. I've got something else to review. It's also double sideband, but it does a lot more than the MDT did. For a start, it's a full 5 watts output. Secondly, it's got a digital readout and DDS VFO. That makes it more stable, particularly useful if you're trying to receive double sideband transmissions, such as from another one of these transceivers or an MDT. Thirdly, it does CW as well. And you can get it in either 40 or 80 meter versions. In today's review, I'll look inside the DCT and put it on air. All the parts are mounted on a printed circuit board about two centimeters behind the front panel. As I didn't build it myself, I can't comment on how it went together, but its layout looks very neat and logical. Near one end of the board is the antenna socket, the power socket, and the on-off switch. This is the case, this is the board. As you can see, there's quite a lot of clearance, more than three centimeters, so if you want, you could put a battery pack in it, making it a self-contained transceiver. There's even potentially room to build in an antenna coupler if you wanted to. All components are mounted on one side of the board, except for the final transistor, which is on the underside. What is immediately striking is there's not that many solder blobs. That's because a lot of the kit is surface mount components. They're already on the board when you get it. Your job then is only to mount the through hole components. VK3 FSPN VK3YE I tried some different Baofeng microphones. This one gave much better reports. This tended to be somewhat muffly. One mod that people have done is to make the hole a bit bigger for the sound to get through to the microphone element, as apparently that's a problem with some of the Baofeng mics. We'll test reception by Northland Radio in New Zealand. VK3YE calling CQ and listening. This is the 80 metre version. The weekend after getting it was the Trans Tasman contest, so I fired it up to see what I could work.
I made over 50 contacts in about 4 hours of operating, all on 80 metres. Two thirds of those contacts were double sideband and the other one third CW. The direct conversion receiver, though good as far as simple direct conversion receivers go, did have some limitations when the band was busier than normal. That's all due to the audio image. To fix that would require a more advanced phasing type direct conversion receiver. Still, there weren't too many contacts that I missed because of the DC receiver's audio image. It can sometimes be difficult hearing AM or double sideband signals with a direct conversion receiver. One feature of the DCT is 1 hertz tuning steps. That can make tuning in somewhat easier. Here, I'm listening to an AM signal on 80 metres. This is the DCT's construction manual. It's about 60 pages long. Introduction, features, about double sideband transmission, the direct conversion receiver, the transmitter, block diagram, schematic diagram is on several pages, parts list. These are the through hole parts on the main board not very many, then the parts on the connector board and other items. As for construction, it's built on a double-sided fiberglass printed circuit board, a list of tools. That's the manual for the DCT. It's quite comprehensive and you shouldn't have too many problems with it. I had a lot of fun using the DCT and can highly recommend it. It could be useful for the portable CW operator that still wants a voice capability. Although it's only 5 watts, double sideband can work quite well at that power level on 80 or 40 metres. My furthest contact so far with it has been VK4 to VK3 on 80 metres, or a distance of 1000 to 1500 kilometres. Thanks to Leon VK2DOB from OzQRP for the loan of the review unit. If you want to know more about the DCT, visit the website ozqrp.com. You can also go there to read the manual before you purchase the kit.